hello and in this video I'll be showing you how you can add content into our text to our HTML page using function provided by jQuery. So what I'll do is that in the first I'll just go to preview and show you what I have. Okay and this is the page. I have your paragraph right here and uh, I have your list uh, an order list over here. Okay now what I want to append is I would like to append a full stop after every after every paragraph. As you can see, these paragraphs are missing the full stop or, or the period sign as in the column. Okay, so let's quickly go to our viewer and uh, in my jQuery I'll just type to start to do dollar sign. Okay, now what I want is all the paragraph to be selected. So we type B. And now I type the function provided by jQuery that is pen and it gives me an error. Because it's giving me something that uh, we did not know anyway. So that's how we do it. We can use the append function to append uh, anything. It can have, let's say, End of data. End of this data. Okay. So let's save it and let's see how it looks like right now. It has appended to the end of all the paragraphs. Let's see if you want to append something in the unordered list. We can do that. It's so simple. Just type. U L or L I because that is the list. Okay, let's see. We don't want to have this. We need to put the end of list. Okay, so the preview. And there we go. This, this is the end of list. So instead of using this, we we'll, why not just add the the pound or the apple uh, stop. Let's do that. Okay. Just do the same thing with the I'm going to select it and copy it. Let's just do the same thing with the paragraph that we have instead of ally. Now I just type P. I'll save it, control F, go to the preview and let's see what we have. Okay, it has added this list off after the paragraph as well as after the list the another list. So I'll go to the main mirror and uh, we'll just do something something uh, good with it. Now instead of, now this is something called, now append add something towards the end of the string or character or towards the end of the line. Now similar to append, we have something called, it also basically, something called three then okay, three then yeah. Uh, let's see if I got it right. Three friend. Start. There you go. Okay. So I could have typed something better than that. And uh, start here. Uh, uh, control S. Save. Nine. All right, so we have prepended actually. We have actually prepended. Now there's something called, but there's also something that we can do with it. Okay, prepend and append is just a basic thing. Okay, I'll just remove this thing out of the way. And there is something we can do. Let's say I want to take this last paragraph and move it somewhere here. Okay, so the way we do that is we are going to use the paragraph and now we are telling jQuery that I need to select the last panel and dot append to where do we want it to be? 
you want this to be appended to the first. All right. So now what it will do is that it will. You want it to number it. So what it will do now is. Just number this one. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So we have the. You know what? Just let's come into one. And now we will have the paragraph, the numbers, first paragraph, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Now what now what we need to what we will be doing right now is taking the last paragraph, that is the paragraph number seven, to the top. So for that we have this jQuery. Now what we are telling jQuery is to select the last column and append this one to the first one. Save it and let's see what we get. Okay, there is something append append again and D not C. Append two, let's save it, let's try one more time, and there we go. It has taken the last paragraph and uh, brought it straight right here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.